Migration of Palestinians, Part 5, Who Will Take Them? By Walker von Krieg. A John School Ministries production. To begin this discussion, I must emphasize that the people called Palestinians are not indigenous people. This is how I heard them characterized before the International Court this day. Indigenous is derived from the Latin, indigena, meaning sprung from the land, native. As I have previously shown in preceding reports, those people characterized as Palestinians are in the main group of non-Jewish migrants from other regions. Characterizing these people called Palestinians as indigenous or even one people is a continuation of lies that were invented and can only deceive those ignorant of regional history. Those among the peoples called Palestinian who may have some genetic connection with the descendants of Lot, Ishmael, or Esau, because their lands biblically were not part of the land of Israel, have no claim on the land. They cannot claim descendants from the Philistines because that name means, see invaders, and in fact, finding a genetic trace of them has been impossible. The people are migrants and the behavior of these people, since even before 1948, is evidence they should migrate again. These people have a problem because even the Muslim nations, despite the noises of support they make, do not want them. There is ample reason for this. Recently, some people in Gaza tried to make their way into Egypt only to be turned back because the Egyptians were glad to be rid of responsibility for them in 1967. They have been nothing but a thorn in the flesh for them and they do not want them back. The only country that has offered to take some is Congo, however someone should suggest South Africa should take a million or so, since they chose to appear before the UN International Court, making false allegations about the way Israel treats them. Experience has shown that most of those who make a pretense of concern for people migrating, do not wish to have them in their backyard. Israel has a problem with the number of people who have committed acts of terrorism, rape, and murder in the past. Now, over seven months into the current war, they have an additional problem with the numbers of Hamas terrorists who have either surrendered or were captured. So far, to my knowledge, they have not reinstated the death penalty which I think they should. Some people are so evil they cannot be allowed to live. However, I do have a solution for those prisoners, especially those who are incorrigible, which is the majority. My idea is Israel should secure land in the middle of either the Sahara or Gobi Desert, isolated from the rest of humanity. The incorrigible prisoners, and those who participated in the October 7th massacre, should be dropped into a large area, fenced in and guarded. Then they should receive the supplies needed to establish a self-sustaining community with the choice of either building it or perishing. They should be given a deadline in which to get these things accomplished, after which the support ends. Israel has the technology whereby they can distill sufficient water from the air to support their needs, as well as greenhouses. It would give these an opportunity to live never afforded their victims. In our next report on Palestinian migration, we shall consider the remainder of the peoples falsely called Palestinians. This has been a John School Ministries production. Please like, share, and subscribe.